Hi everyone, it's Arda. Today is National Ice Cream Day, and some of the Ellen Hudson Design Ambassadors and the Catherine Pooler Creative Team members are hopping to celebrate. And since I'm on both teams, I guess this card is like having two scoops. To make my card, I used the truck, a sentiment, and some ice cream from Catherine's new Ice Cream You Scream set, and I paired them up with the Essentials by Ellen Little Lady and Little Gentleman. I've got them all lined up here on my Mini Misty. This tool makes it so easy to do a lot of stamping all at once, and it allows you to re-stamp if you have any problems. But I got it right the first time here, with my Gina K Jet Black Amalgam Ink, which is Copic friendly. I colored them off camera with my Copic markers. There's going to be a lot on this card, so I used a lot of the same colors on all three images to keep it from getting too busy. I'm creating a scene with the kids looking out a window at the ice cream truck, so I started by cutting a window frame with the Essentials by Allen Winter Window Die Set. I used just the inner die and I stuck it down with some purple tape and ran it through my Gemini Junior to cut the window from a panel of white cardstock. I was keeping the inside of the house pretty clean and simple, so to create some interest outside the window, I used this Essentials by Ellen landscape die to cut some 2 inch post it tape down the middle to create masks. I laid the die next to the card to help me with positioning of the mask, and then I put the tape down, making sure it was stuck down well. I added some scrap paper to prevent any ink blending mistakes, and then I started blending It's a Boy ink with life changing blender brushes to create a skyline. The brush pushed the mask back in one area, so I changed my strokes so that I was just pushing the ink up from the bottom. I made sure not to go too close to the top or either side of the front of the card, since those areas will be visible once I add the window panel over top. I switched out the mask for the other side of the tape, and then I did the same ink blending with Garden Party to create a nice soft green field. I removed that mask, and then I checked through the window panel to be sure I was happy with it. To give some color to the window frame, I used Twilight Ink direct to paper, which just means I pounced it over top until it was covered. This ink pad is a little dry, so I set it aside to be re-inked after I'm done. For the sentiment, I put the window panel into my Mini Misty, and then I placed the little lady and gentleman where they will go, just so I could get the placement of the sentiment exactly right. I inked it up with Midnight Ink, and I stamped it down. Next, I used some acetate and my tape runner to put glass into the window. And then I used some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to attach the window frame to the front of the panel. I've been using this glue for months now, and it never clogs. I love it. I put an acrylic block over top just to hold it in place while the glue sat. I covered the back of the window panel with foam tape, really to create a bit of a shaker. The idea was that the truck would be the only shaker filler, and it would just have space to kind of move back and forth. I trimmed the top of the bottom of the truck to fit into the shaker window, and then I made a bit of a mistake, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. I folded my ink blended card base and removed the release paper from the foam tape. You can see that I had also put foam tape on the back of the ice cream truck, and that was my mistake. I felt like it needed a bit more thickness, so I added a couple of pieces to the back and neutralized the stickiness, but because it was the same thickness as the walls of the shaker window, it really doesn't move, which is disappointing. An extra die cut layer would have been a much better choice, so you can learn from my mistake. The card is still good and the truck is in a good position, but it's less interactive than I had intended. To finish it off, I just added the kids and their ice creams, and I put stickles on the treats for a bit of interest and sparkle. Be sure to head to my blog for all the hop details, including information about the prizes. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below, and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. Product links are below in the description, and also on my blog. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.